coach, congratulations. You were just saying that success is being here. Success is also winning a conference tournament. What went into getting to this point? It's been, I mean, for all the teams here, you know, it's been just a, a long 14, 15 months. Uh, you know, we got to cancel last year, come back this year. The golf was great. You know, every year in this tournament, it always seems like it comes right down to the wire as it did this year again. Uh, our ladies play great. The ladies at Northern Arizona played fabulous. Portland State played great. Um, I think we got fortunate to win and and proud of my ladies. Uh, obviously, Tess and Sydney were just great, but all five of the gals on my team, I'm really proud of them. Like you said, it came down to the wire. What was it that made the difference for your team? Well, they, <laughs> I mean, they made some birdies. Uh, I, I would say that, you know, obviously there's a randomness to like just three holes, go get them, you know what I mean? But, you know, we qualify a lot. We compete a lot at home. Uh, you know, we play small qualifying rounds. We have uh, a lot of that going on. And so we try to, you know, create a competitive environment without it becoming too competitive, you will. And, um, and then we've played a lot of good teams this year and that I think helped, you know, we've had a chance to play with, you know, almost all the really good programs in the Western United States this year, which has been, I think, good for our team, you know, playing with schools like Stanford and Cal and San Jose State. And, um, and so when, you know, the level of golf elevated, I feel like they were kind of ready to kind of move to that next level and they did and, and uh, I'm proud of them. Coach, uh, you're a great coach. This is a, a program that does very well. What was the central message from you heading into this tournament? Well, I, what I said to the whole group, which is that success is being here. Anything that we do after we got here, it's a bonus. You know, this is not a year that you're going to be, like, really grinding it out in terms of performance. Because, you know, you're dealing with so many stresses from from family to, you know, social distancing to uh, protocols all the COVID tests that now we have to go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. mean? And it's exhausting and you've been doing it since September and it's a long time. And so like, Hey, we got here, my whole team, all these five ladies got vaccinated last week. That's a, that's a bigger moment for my program. I feel like then, than even winning the tournament, you know what I mean, because mm -hmm. objectively in the long run, like these are things that were really hard to get to. And, and so I was proud of them before I got here and I told them we come here, have fun. And I think they did. I'm sure they're a little bit nervous at the end there. <laughs> Uh, but I'm real proud of them, and we obviously had some outstanding golf, uh, and it, and um, and they obviously played really well at the end of the round today and got the win. Oh, you talked a little bit about Tess earlier yeah. on. She's the individual champion in her yeah. first conference tournament. What is it that you see in her that makes her so successful? She's got a great ability to focus, to narrow her focus and compete. Uh, you know, Tess is one of the really nice women that I've ever known in my entire life but she's a competitive person and she does have this ability to narrow her focus to be really mature about how she goes out and competes she's won a lot of golf uh, and um, and and boy you know having her be the freshman year player of the year last year and Jennifer be the freshman player of the year last year you know obviously we're excited about where our program is at right now uh, because, uh, but she tests, and she honestly was just absolutely fantastic this week. She had one rough stretch in the first round where she made four or five bogeys, and other than that, she played pretty much perfect golf, you know, on a hard golf course. This is the hardest golf course we've played at conference since I've been in conference. Uh, not that it was too hard. It was very challenging, and, uh, and she was able to obviously separate herself from the field and you know, was a big, big part of us winning this tournament. You know mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest. You know I mean, uh, I can't, I, not to make a too long answer, I, I can't, I have to make a shout out to Sydney finishing third. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's her lowest finish as a college golfer. Uh, she's always been known more for her consistency as opposed to going out and having, you know, a top three finish. I know this meant a lot to her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I'm, you know, we couldn't have done it without all five of the gals, but obviously Sydney and Tess had a big part of this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, great golf and yeah. congratulations to you and your team.